Yo, crazy to me, crazy knock, and today I thought I would do a mid-season patch of season two tier list 1v1s. If you skip to the end of the video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think is the most broken character out of the entire roster. Yes, I play 1v1s. I don't play 2v2s much often, okay? Jeff always wants to play with me, but I'm not gonna play with him. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Huh? Huh? Tell him, tell him why I don't play with you. Uh, it's because uh, crazy knock doesn't want me to carry him. <laughs> It's because I suck. We're gonna put Shaggy in the S tier. And I think we can do it with all just these tiers. It's gonna be beautiful. I don't think he's top five. Batman, 100% S tier. It's just his presence. He did get nerfed this patch, and I still think he's S. I think he went a little bit lower, possibly, in the S, but he's still a strong character. I don't care what people say. Just because something got removed where you can just spam down special over and over shouldn't mean he just immediately goes to A or B tier, you know? Jake! I'm gonna put him in A tier. High A tier. I think he is strong. I think there's some things that he's lacking. He did get nerfed this patch, but only in twos, really. In ones, I did hear he had a shadow nerf of where you can't SD, which is jumping off the map with someone in his mouth and just do the little mouth that he can't do that anymore which i honestly i don't know how to feel about it i know sometimes it's good to gimp people like that i just feel like it's annoying when you can do it like twice in a row like yeah maybe it's a mistake of the person getting chomped but it's a big hitbox man if that's the case make it so it's easier to mash out so only he can only do that if he bites him off the edge or something like that not like on the stage and then just like freaking walk all the way off Maybe I'm just not a good masher. Finn, he's still top five. Yes, there are some things that people have to be adjusted to with his nurse, but I've literally seen Flococo do the same thing where you jump nair, jump nair, jump nair, or like IAD, IAD nair, which is where like instant air dodge to do the nair, like all the way to death. And he still has such a strong presence on the map. Like he still has the combos to get him off the map. The fluidity and momentum in the air is insane, dude. It's like, it feels like nothing changed, honestly. I'm not gonna lie except uh holding your ability that's about changed harley i'm gonna put i really don't know a high a tier maybe low s i feel like i don't want to put him with these this group harley's strong harley is strong but if you play it right you can you can do better because they did nerf her up up special which helps a little bit there's not much changed i think she's high on the a tier list wonder woman they lowered the armor in two twos in one she's still broken it's not even because of the armor really i mean they lowered it the armor a little bit but it's really not because of the armor like it's just her presence she can just keep throwing instant air dodge nares stairs like it's just so much hitbox and size that's what makes her and she's fast and quick superman I'm tempted to put him A, but I might put him low S for now. His ice breath, obviously from Anthos, everyone's seen his ice breath is pretty strong, but I don't think it needs to be a cooldown. Like, I don't think it needs to have a bar where he can only use so much ice. I think it just needs to be a little bit shorter, personally. Because you, he has some whiff on his ice. Like, if you time it right, then you can actually punish him. That's where it's strongest, off the edge. And it, it's strongest because it hits so far. But you know what? At the same time, we got Bugs Bunny up here, the Harley up here, like, so many abilities that can just go through the side of the corner so it's like he needs that length otherwise you can even do the ice off the edge but at the same time i want to put him a because of all his laser his lasers are broken his ledge grabs are broken he flies into the corner and he gets stuck a lot of the time steven and ones he did get tuned a little bit maybe a top a rain dog i will still put an a towards the bottom like some of this kill potential is low but man his presence on the map i think he has some really strong combos and matchups Honestly, I'm putting Bugs in S. I don't even care what anyone says. Seriously, he is an insane character. Like, they made his jab a little bit less in the patch. Now it's like the first jab, but it doesn't matter. Like, this is one of the most strongest abilities in the game. Going into the hole, having the safe where it goes through his hole, like back on the stage, doo, 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 like almost indefinitely. Having the rocket, like just the presence on the map. I know where he sticks the carrot too. Fucking crap to carry right up his ass tom and jerry i know a lot of things are broken with them still but he did get nerfed i saw hardcore talking about it he's like it was mainly just bugs really like he has to read with his loop now but it's still so strong his freaking up tilt man still hits to the moon i feel like they should have nerfed that more than anything he is a harder matchup with some people now but i still think he's low s garnett i think she's high a i don't think garnett was ever bad and she got buffs i think she's strong she can be very aggressive and it worked i think she's always been
always been strong. I don't care. Arya, top five, hundred percent top five, dude. They didn't do anything to combat her down down tilt. It definitely shows. So I mean, I'm really glad that they nerfed her Sare, uh in the air. Like that would just. I but the fact that you can just jab up tilt, jump up for a freaking full charge Sare. Like why? Freaking Velma, dude. I've been seeing some crazy clips with her. I actually might put her S. Okay, let's not go too far. Somewhere in A for sure. She's actually got some really improvements that allow her to move the speed. She got the book. Not to only throw the book, but it, when that's on cooldown, it's a really fast option. And uh, the momentum on her uh, camera can really set up for some nice up airs. Really good. Really good update. That's actually one of the best changes I've seen. Taz, I might put him B tier. Yes, Taz has some really annoying stuff. His dog pile, his NATO, obviously is one of the most frustrating abilities, but you, it is avoidable. I'm gonna put him B tier for now. Iron Giant, dude, he's just so annoying. He got tuned a little bit better. I'm still gonna put him S. I don't know about top five. LeBron, definitely A. I heard some of his combos got dropped, but you know what? Like I heard that about Rick as well, and they like instantly found stuff. It's just an adjustment for sure and i guarantee you that he feels like he's good like he's got some loops but i'm not like a hundred percent sure like that character is complicated to me morty i don't know if i'll put him top five this time i heard he has a lot of i watched quirky and stuff on his twitter but he says he has a lot of broken stuff happening i think he's still a strong ass character though rick i honestly might put him top five we'll put him in s for now but i dude he's insane like, oh, whoa, our jab, our jab got nerfed. Our jab got nerfed. I don't care, dude. There's still so many combos you can do with them. If you do get the jab, it's still insane. Second hit and third hit of the jab got buffed. So I don't even know what they're complaining about. It's like, oh, wow, my, my jab doesn't hit to the moon anymore. People are sleeping on Stripe. Stripe is so slept on, it's kind of insane. Range and where abilities hit is delusional. It's insane. So you can play around them, but man, you cannot just go at them. Very strong character. Black Adam, 100% S. They did nothing to him. They just lowered his weight. It's kind of self-explanatory. He still does have side specials. So much pressure on the map. It's just up tilt and then jab, jab. Oh, fly, read that. Jab, jab. And then you're just dead. Or spam the freaking down airs. Like, it's such a huge hitbox that goes like almost, it's probably like 180 degrees. And then the side special probably pisses me off the most. They can use that as a dodge and it's even like faster than the dodge, longer than the dodge. And it creates an electric ball that follows you. Like, why? Gizmo, I'm looking at all these other ones, and I honestly think I'll still put Gizmo in top five. I don't care. He might be lower, not might not be number one, just because he can't hold his arrow anymore. But dude, his same with Stripe and him. Holy shit, he can just throw out so many. You have to play really weird to even beat him. Marvin, 100% S. I don't know, some characters can beat him. Somewhere in S, unreal. The amount of projectiles he has, man, just non-stop. Just non-stop. And even some of his melee combos he can get in a loop. And his armor break, purple gun, oh my god. Don't get me started, man. Joker still has the combos. It's a little bit worse. They nerfed his jab. Doesn't really feel any different, to be honest. I still think he's top five. Maybe I'm delusional, I don't know. Banana Guard actually got a buff, and it's really good changes. This is one of the other characters I thought it was really good changes. I think he's definitely an A tier. Jason, I might put him in B. With Jason, they changed his uh, grab to have armor, neutral special in the air, but it's still not really enough. But he, it's like, it's so, he's in such a weird spot. He has the potential, but he's also like a punchy bag and slow. If they made him like any faster, like he would be, he would shoot up from here to like all the way like top five. I'm like, I'm not even, or at least S. I'm, like if they made him faster, it's kind of insane. Samurai Jack, I'll put him in S. His nerfs to the side special, it affects him a little bit, but still very strong. He just made will put an A. I'm just gonna put him an A. I real I'm not giving it a lot of thought. I just don't think he has that times where he can shine and he has some he's not bad. He's just not as good as the S tier characters, in my opinion. His hitboxes, I'm trying to think, are probably the worst of it all. And Beetlejuice, I'll put him in A. Just because he has his kill potential a little bit low, he still has some nasty stuff, especially with people figuring it out. Right now I could put him in S just because his freaking loops where it's just the jab, jab, scream, stun, jab, jab, scream, stun. Like those setups can be absolutely nasty. B is definitely ordered. Without going insane and trying to think about it too much, A is in order right now. 
you know what? I'm gonna say screw it. He's in order. And crazy as that is, S in order as well. I just believe it's really tough to order S. Maybe I should have put like an A, B, C tier. I don't know. I think there's so many characters that have potential and are strong. So I'm gonna leave that as an order. Over time, it's just hard to say, man. It's really hard to say. Now for the top five. And that is my top five list. I'm actually curious what you guys think because I'm a little iffy on it, but it's in the ballpark. It's definitely in the ballpark. It's not too far off. It's not too far fetched. That is what I'm going to say. That's final. That's absolutely final. This is for 1v1. So let me know if you guys agree with this. Let me know what you would change. Let me know if you hate it, love it, or you know, are in agreement with it. So <laughs> crazy. And with that, I say good night and goodbye. Goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. I love you, crazies.